in this video, we're going to learn about algebra of events. Okay, so we'll do this by examples. Let's roll a die. This is what we have as a sample space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let's try to leverage our knowledge of sets and plot this sample space. Let's say this is our sample space and these are sample points. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, because we're going to talk about algebra of events, we now need a bunch of events to play with. Let's say this is our first event, A, which has one and six. How do we visualize A? Well, we can see that this is A. This region has one and six. Now let's take another event. Let's take the event B, which has four, five, and six. How do we plot B? Well, this is, this is B, four, five, and six. Now you can already see a bunch of interesting things happening. Numbers two and three are not part of A or B. Six is part of both A and B. One is part of A, but it's not part of B, etc. Now you might be surprised, but whatever we just did in the last few seconds, that's what we call the algebra of events. If you don't believe me, try it out yourself. Instead of me telling you what they mean, you figure them out yourself. I'm going to write down three events and you tell me what they mean. The first one is event A or B. The second one is event A and B. And the third one is event A but not B. So pause the video, think about these three events. Let's look at the first one, event A or B. Event A or B means it's cool with A or B or both. So as long as either one of them is happening, this event A or B will happen. This means A can happen or B can happen or both of them can happen. What about this event A and B? Well, this one is a little bit strict. This event says I need both A and B to happen, which means both of them have to happen together. And what about this last one? This says event A but not B. Well, this means A but not B. This event wants the event A to happen, but it does not like B. It does not want B to happen. Now let's see what we have for these three events. Let's pick the middle one first. Event A and B. Where do we see both events A and B happening together? Well, they're happening together for this sample point six. Whenever six happens, both event A and event B happen. So for this event A and B, we can say that we have this number six. So this event A and B is just the event six. Let's look at the third one, event A but not B. So we want A to happen, but not B. So we'll look in the yellow circle and figure out what we have that's outside this orange circle. So that's the number one, which means event A but not B is this event, which has one in it. And what about the first one, event A or B? This is a bit lenient. This says you can pick anything from A or B. So we'll pick everything from A or B, which means one, four, five, and six, all four of them go. Whenever any one of them happens, this event A or B will happen. So this event is one, four, five, and six. In the set world, or means union of two sets. So event A or B can be written as A union B. Uh, similarly, a and B means A intersection B. These are symbols of union and intersection. Event A but not B, that's, that's a subtraction. This says A minus B. This says start with A and subtract things that are also in B. Now let's get a bit more technical and define these events. So A union B is defined as this. We'll have all the outcomes W where W belongs to A or W belongs to B. Let's look at the next one, A and B. Well, this says all the outcomes W where W belongs to A and W belongs to B. So this has to satisfy both of these conditions together. And what about the third one, A but not B? Well, this says W belongs to A and W does not belong to B. So we'll have to be in A and be outside B. And in some textbooks, you'll also see this third event written like this, A intersection B dash. Can you justify A but not B written in this form? Again, this means pick things from A 
and don't pick things from B. Pay close attention to the conditions that W has to satisfy for these three events to happen. Now let's move to the practice world. We're going to roll a die and this will be our sample space. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And I'm going to list down two events. The first one is getting a prime number. And the second one is getting an odd number. Now you'll have to figure out what will event A or B look like? Event A and B look like? and event A but not B look like. Pause the video, try this out for yourself. Okay. Before we start with these three events, let's look at events A and B. Getting a prime number. There are three prime numbers, two, three, and five. So that's your event A. Getting an odd number. Well, there are three odd numbers, one, three, and five. That's your event B. Now let's look at the first one, event A or B. Now one way to do this is pick all the elements from one of these sets. Let's say we pick all the elements from set A, 2, 3 and 5. And then let's see what are the elements that are left in B. We'll add them to the list as well. We have 3 and 5 covered, so we'll add 1 to the list and this will be our event A or B. If any of these sample points happen, if any of these outcomes happen, we can say that event A or B has happened. Let's look at the next one, event A and B. Now for this, we need things that are both in A and in B. So we have three and five, that's common. So that will be our event A and B. So when three happens, we can say that both event A and B have happened, or we can say that the event A and B has happened. Cool. Let's look at the last one, A but not B. So we'll start with the elements in A, two, three, and five, and get rid of the things that are in B. So we have three and five, let's get rid of them. Well, we're left with only two. So that's your event A, but not B. And that's all there is to it. This is what we call algebra of events.